And we have more breaking news tonight, this time in Volusia County. A man accused of impregnating a 13 year old girl has just turned himself into Daytona Beach Police. West News' Chris Hush is live at the police department. And Chris, you spoke to the accused sexual predator? That's right. Just minutes after our 5 p.m. story aired, Robert Bellamy Jr. turned himself in here to the Daytona Police Department. He was dropped off by we're being told someone that he knew, possibly a family member. This, of course, just hours after he was considered to be a wanted man for having sexual contact with a 10-year-old. Robert, did you have sex with a teenager? No comment. Have you seen this baby? No, I haven't. Is that your child? That's what the papers say. Do you have sexual contact with the 10 year old? No, man. 50 year old Robert Bellamy Jr. allegedly impregnated a 13 year old girl. He's accused of sexually abusing her since she was 10 years old in DeLand and in Daytona Beach. That's where the victim told police the two had sex up to nine times. But in May, police say the mother confronted her daughter after looking at her cell phone bill and finding multiple self finding multiple calls rather between Bellamy and her daughter. And after a DNA test was done on the victim's baby and Bellamy, investigators say the results show that Bellamy is more than likely the father. I just can't imagine that the little girl just grew up her whole life thinking that this is the way life is supposed to be, and then he impregnates her, and uh, you know he knew he did it, he didn't, he didn't run from it. Uh, you know we had to wait for DNA results to come back, but I mean I got to tell you, you got to be a real scumbag to really attack a young child like that. It just absolutely turns your stomach. And that was the chief there talking to us uh, right after uh, Bellamy turned himself in here. Bellamy is off to jail now. He's on uh, off to jail on lewd or lascivious battery on a victim under 12 years of age. We'll, of course, continue to follow this story as we get more details. For now, we're live in Daytona Beach. Chris Hush, West 2 News.